All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC flyweight division title. All right, so here she is, the UFC women's flyweight contender looking to become the new champion here tonight. There is no denying she has every tool and every skill you could want, and she has all the makings of a UFC champion. Let's see if the pressure gets to her here tonight or if she can put forth a similar performance that, of course, has led to this monumental opportunity here tonight. All right, so here she is with much fanfare, the reigning, defending undisputed UFC flyweight champion, making her way to the octagon, the mission tonight to defend her title and go out the way she came in as the UFC's best at 125 pounds. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Our rounds for the undisputed UFC flyweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a boxer. Make she stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Presenting the challenger, live. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 23 wins, three losses. She stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Valentina Bullet Shevchenko. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, the back to the corners, come fight. You ready? All right, here we go with round one. Most people are not expectant of a grappler's delight tonight. These women can strike, and that's the type of fight they're expecting. A lot of times people believe when you put two strikers together, they end up wrestling. But these two women have told us, don't even think about calling any grappling. Tonight, you watch a kickboxing match inside of the octagon, so be prepared. Oh, man, that looked like it hurt. Nice kick by her there. It absolutely did hurt. I can tell you that as a fact. Switching stances here.
And she continues to circle towards her right. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Nice punch there by Shevchenko. Nice combination there by Shevchenko. Punctuates it with the kick. And if you're going to stand and trade with Shevchenko, better tighten up that defense. Yeah, but that's usually what she does. She's very good at mixing it up and leaving you with a kick at the end. I think back to her fight with Holly Holm. I thought that was one of her greatest performances to date, when she was landing those beautiful combinations and really dictating to Holly how the fight played out. More impressive with your striking. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Hands on your face. Big kick. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Nice punch here. Lands the lead right punch. Under three minutes now to go in the round. to check these low leg kicks. Trying to kick the leg out. Let's go. Set up that takedown. Oh, and she connects there, so the hands look good tonight. Great timing to land that punch. Shevchenko gets the takedown. Now let's see if she chooses to pass here. All right, into full guard here, DC. Where does she go from here? She needs to be passing. Right away passing. Trying to pass to get good ground and pound off. Shevchenko's pass is denied. Oh, Sage work from the bottom here as she tags her with the punch. Well, she connects with the right hand. She loves that right hand, and why not? It's her best punch, and if her opponent doesn't change something, she's gonna go to sleep. Oh, nice. 90 seconds to go. That was a thudding leg kick. All right, so she lands another leg kick there, and now you're starting to really see visible damage on the other side. I'm not sure how many more of these she can take. She won't take many more. You'll start to see her fall to her back, try to engage in the grappling, because she will not be able to get any weight on her front leg, which will make her stationary and be in very much, and be in a lot of danger to get caught with something hard at the top. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Valentina Shevchenko. Beautiful body kick. Under a minute to go in our opening round. Ooh, what a punch. 45 seconds remain in the round. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown, D? Oh, now she's got that tight clinch. Appreciable damage could be coming. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. Oh, 20 seconds now remain in the round. Oh, 10 seconds to go in round one. Oh, big head kick there. Oh, nice high kick. Round two coming up next. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, here we go. Round two is underway. Yeah, round, round one, pretty competitive. I mean, you weren't looking at Let's your phone, back. so you seem to entertain. Yeah, very, very entertaining. You know, when you're not looking down at the pole, there's something to be watched. These are two of the best female fighters in the UFC.
Shevchenko gets caught with that punch. Lands a big elbow there. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Left hand punch from the clinch. Nice strike. Well, there's no denying her power. She has been pretty accurate here tonight, but she's the type of fighter when she goes to the drive through window. She's just getting the sandwich. She's oh, not getting the combo meal. That's embarrassing. <laughs> that's embarrassing. You go and order a sandwich. That's Whoa! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Back to her feet now. Good sign for her there. Big kick lands. Oh, hook to the head by Valentina Shevchenko. It's such a fast leg kick. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Oh, she blocks the punch. Nice kick. So a takedown attempt by her here, DC, but she's unable to get the fight to her. She was not able to secure the takedown, but she has to disguise it a little bit better if she's going to take down a fighter as well first as her opponent. Dig and kick. Big head kick. Oh, there it is, right to the outside of that lead leg. She lands the kick. She did a great job of landing that outside leg. Well, DC, I know you're high on this fighter, but she is fading fast. She got stunned earlier in the round and physically just hasn't responded well since. She has not responded to adversity. You have to understand, as a fighter, everything will not go according to plan. She has not done well in building back to where she was before she got hurt so bad early in the round. All right, so she attempts the takedown here. Decent entry, but unable to get the fight to the ground. She's having a difficult time securing the hips. Why not go upper body, try to engage in the clinch. Try to mix it up if you're going to get these takedowns. Man, high volume of strikes in this round as she continues to land and pour it on. It's amazing that she has been able to maintain this aggression with her striking throughout this fight. Big body kick land. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Twenty seconds left. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Ooh. Seconds. Two right, rounds in the right. books. Mm -hmm. All right, there's the horn. Let us now check out some of the action from that round, DC. What a display of striking. Yeah, John, she did a great job. I mean, she knew exactly what she needed to do, and she mixed everything up beautifully, right? Every punch landed to a kick. Whenever her opponent thought kicks, she would follow up with punches. It was a master class in striking over the course of that round. 
All right, so two pretty good previous rounds. Now another round is underway. Your thoughts on what we might see here over these five minutes? That one of these young ladies will really start to try and drive the point home that she is the better player. Shevchenko's uppercut is blocked. Oh, big head kick. Spinning back fist. Oh, you can see her limp it a little bit now. That leg is hurting for certain. All right, so once again, the fighters engage. Look at that finish there. High front shot. He picked the back ankle by reaching all the way across. Oh, well played there as she gets back to her feet. Nice punch lands over the top. Can't take many of those, you better check. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely, both of these fighters love fighting chest to chest. The uglier the fight, the better. Way to hide that leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. She blocked the punch. Beautiful leg kick throw. Big punch to the body. Just over three minutes to go now. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's going to be the person to dictate the pressure? Who's going to control the engagement from this 50-50 position? Wow, is she applying a lot of pressure here? I'm not sure how much her opponent can take. Clear sense of urgency here as she tries to make sure the judges stay out of it. Oh, and there's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Valentina Shevchenko. Oh, and she connects there. Beautiful punch. Great punch, but what's next? What is she going to use to follow it up? Shevchenko's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Wide open, low kick. Big leg kick land. Hands up. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by Shevchenko. She lands a kick there. She might be the best kicker in this division. She may just be the best kicker in this entire division. She does a great job of using that as a way to dominate a fight. Looks as though her leg might be hurt here, limping a little bit. Straight punch lands. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Nice head kick. Oh, she blocks the punch. Powerful leg kick land. Back and forth we go here. Shevchenko gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Let's go. Let's get that takedown down. Nice straight right lands. And she landed a kick there, DC. That was well done. Well done. She does a great job of recognizing the opening and getting the leg there. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that. And she lands the double leg takedown. We'll see what she can do with it. Shevchenko's got the full mount. She's trying to pass the guard here. Ooh, unable to do so. Nice denial by the bottom fight. Great recognition in the grappling transitions. Way to maintain that guard. Got clipped with the right hand. Oh, 
Keep it busy here off of her back. Nice offense right. from the bottom. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Just misses with the punch by Shevchenko. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. All right, so she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. As efficient as any striker in the division, this is a world-class display of striking here tonight. And she connects with a punch there, champ. She's so accurate. She's so good at timing all of her strikes. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Big head kick land. Counter punch is good by Valentina Shevchenko. Trying to kick the leg out. Well, she's got a good jab, miss with it there. All right, so now she engages in the tie clinch, and of course, if you're fighting hands as the opponent, you leave everything else wide you open. You leave everything open as you will dig big, brutal knees to the body. Well, she lands another strike to the body here, and the percentage is getting high now in terms of the body strikes landed. Didn't see a lot of that earlier on, making up for lost time here. Just over three minutes to go. Takedown defense holds up. Throws the punch there and connects. Nice job by her there. Nice job, nice punch. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances, a lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the casual thing. Absolutely, and it's gonna be the underhook. For all the things that happen in this position, the person winning and controlling the underhook battle is the one out ahead. Oh, beautiful kick by her there. She just gets that foot off the canvas to the target so quickly. She does not give her opponent any idea that that kick is coming. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Man, she might punch harder than you. Nice connection there. Nah, I don't know about that, John, but she is a fast, accurate striker. Oh, John. Oh, double leg takedown is good. Connects with a right. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, she's got her in a crucifix now. I would think a lot of options at her disposal offensively. Yeah, she's got all the options. All she needs to do is be patient. Drop elbows. Oh, it looks like she's going for her arm now. Oh! Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Yeah, no doubt about it. 
but that is some opportunistic grappling right there. And nice finishing instincts as well. You see a lot of fighters get the dominant position, but aren't necessarily able to lock up the choke or force the tap. No problem with her as she gets one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. Well, the celebration is officially on for the UFC Women's Flyweight Champion, getting it done and emphatically tonight by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, five seconds of round number four. We're playing the winner by tap out, Valentina Mullen Shevchenko. So when it comes to the women, she's still the class of the 125 pounders and take a massive effort to dethrone her, but she seems to be the head of the class and by a pretty significant margin. Right yeah, now. she seems to be far ahead of the pack. And every time you step into that octagon with this champion, you understand that you will have to be on your game or you're going to be turned away. Tonight, she turns away another worthy challenger and remains a champion.